Raphael, Chicho, hello. I'm sorry, but you are mistaken about reasons of situations in Donbass. Russia started conflict, which has been happening in Donbass since 2014. Ukrainian Nazism is just a myth created by Russian propaganda. I mean, there weren't Nazis, Nazism as mass phen uh, mass phenomena, but after invasion, there will be most likely. I'm a Russian citizen, by the way. Excuse me for mistaken in language. No worries about the uh, Rafael. No worries about the the language. Just we get we get your gist, uh, but I think you're wrong, right? Uh, Russia didn't instigate what's going on right now in Ukraine. The coup, the violent coup in 2014, was the beginning of it, and that was kickstarted by the trade agreement that the EU was demanding that Ukraine sign right and western ukrainians wanted the trade deal right but eastern ukrainians russian speaking ukrainians and southern speaking ukraine um, more russian crimean stuff didn't want that trade trade deal because the european union the western european uh, trade deal with the eu with ukraine if they had signed it it said that you have to cut off um your, your you have to eliminate your trade deals that you have with russia so it makes them null and void ukraine at the time democratically elected government of ukraine at the time rejected the european union's offer for a trade agreement the government of ukraine at the time was corrupt 100 percent, but so has every government been in ukraine ever since including this one right now which is extremely corrupt and the one preceding this right but the democratically elected government of ukraine said no we will not tell russia to go fuck itself with its trade deals but we're already obligated to okay to sign a trade deal with you europe okay and then the ukrainians in ukraine that really wanted this trade deal with europe the western ukraine specifically western north decided with the help of nato uk and the United States, the neocons in the United States, to violently overthrow democratically elect any government in Ukraine. It should be noted that there was going to be elections there a year from the time that the violent coup took place. And the president at the time said, look, if people want this, we're going to have elections in a year. Elect a government you think that's going to be okay with this, and they will sign it, right? But there was a violent overthrow of the government and all of a sudden these fanatics got into power in ukraine one of the first things they did was they eliminated russian as a second language right which the previous government had put into place then they um the i'm not sure which came first actually odessa i think crimea came first where crimea quickly hold, held a referendum because it's 90 95 percent russian speaking said we are not gonna stand by while you guys overthrow our democratically elected government and put these effing fanatics in power we no longer recognize our governance being under a nazi ukrainian government that will violently overthrew a democratically elected government that we elected for so they quickly held a referendum and said they want to join russia crimea joins russia i believe after that in odessa okay some of those fanatics western and northern ukrainian nazis right in odessa they barricaded some russian-speaking ukrainians in a building and they burned the building down right so they burned ukrainians alive because they were russian-speaking right the donbass region went, what the fuck did fuck right we want autonomy because they're mainly russian-speaking that's how it all began and the western and northern ukrainian russians said the fuck with that we're gonna go bomb the shit out of our own citizens because russian bad all right because we're fucking nazis and we support we're supported by nato and uh um the eu right the world economic forum globalists right the neocons they got our back they're gonna give us all the weapons we want we're gonna launder billions upon billions of dollars for the big guy right so this goes and host your bio labs and shit this goes very very deep right so Raphael, you know to answer you apologies i'm taking more time than your paragraph states but i i don't think you understand the full situation in donbass and if you do you're not 
telling the truth.